In baseball, everyone loves the home run. Everyone loves high scoring games, but it's on the mound that games are won and lost. And for the University of Detroit, Tony Cassetta was that dominant pitcher that always gave the Titans a chance. A four year letter winner on the baseball diamond, Cassetta did nothing but break records in his Titan career. Perhaps the most intimidating pitcher in school history as he stood six foot six, he was the ace of the Titan pitching staff during his time and holds the school record with 25 total wins. He helped guide the Titans to four straight winning seasons, including a school record 36 and 18 mark in 1975. He ranks fourth in strikeouts in school history with 218, fifth with 243 and one third innings pitched, and eighth with a 2.81 ERA. As a sophomore, he was 9-3 with a 2.29 ERA, allowing just 65 hits with 62 strikeouts in 74.1 innings. The nine wins in that year was a school record at the time and is second in the school record books today. As a senior leading the Titans to a school record for wins, he was perfect on the rubber going 7-0 and striking out 59 batters in 56 innings. He also became the all-time wins leader in a 9-1 triumph over Cleveland State, where he allowed just four hits in a complete game. When he graduated, his 25 wins as a pitcher was the most ever among college pitchers in the state of Michigan. He then had several tryouts with pro teams after his college career ended. The game starts with the pitcher, and in the mid-70s, no Titan was better with his right hand than the kid from Livonia, Michigan. Congratulations, Tony Cassetta, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. The Titan Hall of Fame is filled with great players, coaches, and administrators, but the Titan Hall of Fame will now feature a true pioneer as Sue Kruzeski not only coached women's basketball, but helped usher in women's athletics at the university. She was an intricate part of the start of women's basketball and women's athletics, serving as a head coach for women's basketball from 1977 to 1980, and was the first coach in softball history, as well as the cheerleading coach. Among her duties was also the women's athletic coordinator. One of the priority projects in the late 70s was to establish a first-rate women's intercollegiate program and the university turned to a 1964 UAD graduate. She quickly hit the ground running and just like Dick Vitale was recruiting the best players in the city to come and play for the men, she was able to collect some of the best women's players in the area in the likes of Mary Lilly, Lydia Johnson, Lisa Blackburn, Yvette Harris, Coretta Daniels, and Cheryl Williams. Daniels, Johnson, and Williams were all tabbed as All-Americans during their time, and many of her players are still in the top 10 in several categories in school history. In the first ever Titan women's basketball game, Detroit showed the state exactly what to look forward to as the red and white crushed Olivet 82 to 29 in route to winning the first 15 games in school history and ending the year with a record of 18 and three. Overall, she totaled a 70 and 15 record as the women's basketball head coach, including the top two single season records in school history, going 27 to four in 1978-79 and 25 and eight in 1979-1980. Detroit won the state large college tournament in 1979 and 1980 and earned a berth to the AIAW National Tournament, as well as a national ranking in both seasons. The Titans also invited some of the best teams in the country to come and play in the U of D Coca-Cola Women's Basketball Classic, as Detroit Mercy battled the likes of Old Dominion and Kansas. In 1979, she received the United Way Torch Drive Sportswoman of the Year. Congratulations, Susan Kruzeski, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. It all starts in the circle in softball, and the great Titans teams of the late 80s and early 90s were well equipped with arms, especially with the arrival of Teresa Emery Scroggins. She came to the Titans in 1989 after the team lost all-star pitcher and future Hall of Famer Cindy Crosby, but quickly became one of the best pitchers in the Midwestern Collegiate Conference, helping the Titans win three regular season championships as well as two conference tournament titles. As a freshman, she was the school's and conference's top pitcher, going 20-8 in the circle with a 1.05 ERA, the first 20-game winner in school history. She totaled 174 and two-third innings and allowed just 140 hits, amassing seven shutouts and helping the program to what was a school record 37-20-1 mark. Even more impressive was the conference tournament as the Titans claimed wins over Evansville, Notre Dame, and a pair of wins over St. Louis to earn the trophy. 
By the time her junior year came, she was already cemented as one of the best pitchers in school history. In 1991, she helped the Titans set a school record that still stands with 39 wins as the red, white, and blue were 39 and 26, winning the conference regular season with a 9-1 ledger. She was 20 and 8 with a 1.70 ERA, throwing 205 and one-third innings and allowing just 171 hits with 24 complete games and 8 shutouts and was tabbed the MCC Player of the Year. She beat Notre Dame three times that season, including maybe her best game, a 1-0 win over the Fighting Irish in eight innings, where she allowed just one hit. Scroggins final campaign was again highly successful as she posted a .48 ERA, another school record that still stands. Due to scheduling, the team played just 34 games, going 26-8, including 7-3 in the MCC for a share of first. Once again, it was the Titans and Fighting Irish in the finals, and behind solid pitching from Scroggins, Detroit Mercy was victorious 2-1 and 5-0 in the title games. She ended her career as a three-time first-team MCC honoree and was second-team all Mideast by the National Softball Coaches Association in 1991. In the circle, she ranks first in school history in innings pitched, wins, and appearances, and is second in ERA. As a senior, she led the MCC with 16 wins and a .48 ERA. Congratulations, Teresa Emery Scroggins, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. One of the most dominant programs at Detroit Mercy has been the men's golf team, and the Titans have arguably one of the greatest golfers in Horizon League history in Mark Sommerfeld. He was a four-time All-Horizon League honoree, including the conference's Newcomer of the Year as a freshman and the Player of the Year as a sophomore, junior, and senior. He was just the first Titan to ever receive all-conference accolades in all four seasons and is one of just two golfers in league history to be selected Player of the Year three times. He finished his career as the all-time leader in career average at 73.56, now second in school history, and holds three of the top single-season averages in Titan history, including first with 72.33 as a senior, third with 73.23 as a junior, and eighth with 73.84 as a sophomore. He was part of two Horizon League championship teams and NCAA regional participants as the Titans won the 2005 and 2007 Horizon League titles during his time. In 2007, he helped the Titans win the title by an impressive 16 strokes. He always played big in league championships and is one of just two Titans to earn all tournament accolades, which is given to a golfer who places in the top seven. Sommerfeld won three events in his four years, tied for the most in the last 20 seasons of men's golf, capturing the 2007 Fort Lauderdale Classic, the 2008 First Market Bank Intercollegiate, and the 2008 Titans Invitational. He also finished with a school record 23 top 10 efforts and tallied 34 rounds in his career at par or better. The only four-time team MVP in school history, he was also a GCAA All-American Scholar and the Detroit Mercy President's Award winner as a senior in 2008. Congratulations, Mark Sommerfeld, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. To win a team championship in track and field, you need individuals to be at their best in a number of events. And one person in Titan history who performed at the highest level all time was Jack Shapaniak. He was an 11-time Horizon League champion, winning conference titles in five different events, claiming individual championships in the 200 meters, 400 meters, and the 800 meters, while helping the 4x100 and 4x400 meter relay teams to first place finishes. During his time at Detroit Mercy, he was a part of five school records, helping the Titans win a share of the Indoor Conference Championship in 2000 and the outright league title outdoors in 2003. He was the MCC Outstanding Runner Performer at the 2000 Indoor Conference Championships and was then the Outstanding Running Newcomer of the Year at the Outdoor Meet. He started the 2000 campaign winning the indoor 200 meters in 22.49 seconds and then won the 400 meters in 49.76 seconds. To finish things off, he helped the 4x400 meter relay team capture gold by defeating Milwaukee, which helped the Titans share the conference crown with the Panthers. In outdoors, the Blazing Titan again won the 200 and 400 meters as well as a pair of indoor relays. In 2003, he won the 800 meters and scored in four other events, helping the Titans win their first ever outdoor championship. 
His career also led to him qualifying for the NCAA Outdoor Regionals in the 800 meters on two occasions, taking 10th in 2004 with a time of 1 minute and 49 seconds, a school record that still stands today. He would later come back as a graduate coach with the program as he earned his master's degree and also recently served as the Titan Club president. A Titan who can do it all and did it all is what he was all about. Congratulations, Jack Shapaniak, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. When it came to winning, one person in women's track and field history felt the joys of victory maybe more than any other person in Sharice Staten Watkins. The sprinter not only won a number of individual titles, but also led the Titans to their only two outdoor championships in school history, as well as two straight indoor trophies, two of the four indoor championships in school history. Staten was a two-time MCC Outstanding Outdoor Performer in 1999 and 2000, and the Indoor Outstanding Performer in 1999, where she piled up individual gold medals. Staten was undefeated in league competition in the 60 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters during her career, and owns the school record in all three of those events, as well as the 4x100 meter relay squad. She is one of just three Horizon League runners to win the 60, 100, and 200 four times, and also holds the Horizon League 55 meter dash all-time mark, clocking a sprint of 7.14 seconds as a senior in 2000. She came on the scene in 1997 and immediately made a splash setting Titan rookie records that still stand today in the 55, 60, 200, and 300 meter dash and would eventually be selected the league's running newcomer of the year. In 1998, she led the Titans to win the indoor championships taking first in the 55 and 200 meters to help the university to win by eight points over Milwaukee. In 1999, she won both events again as the Titans defended their team title in the indoor campaign and led the squad to a runner-up finish in 2000. In the outdoor championships, she won the 60 and 200 as well as a relay in 1999 and 2000 as the Titans topped the field again for two more team wins. In total, she won over 25 races in her career. Staten came to Detroit Mercy looking to make an impact on the team, and she did just that, running her way to among the best in school history. Congratulations, Cherise Staten Watkins, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame. The University of Detroit Mercy women's soccer program has enjoyed plenty of success over the years, but perhaps no season has been more special than the one in the fall of 2004. The 2004 Titans set new heights on the playing field, going 14-8-1, including a 6-1 mark in Horizon League play. It was the postseason, however, where the Titans made history. It was one magical season, one that saw the strength of the Titans in recording a 13-0 win over conference foe Cleveland State, to the lows of a three-game losing streak heading into the conference tournament. But this team was resilient. This team was dedicated. And when push came to shove, it was the heart of the squad that led not only to a conference tournament title, but an NCAA victory over the University of Michigan. The Titans were seeded second in the conference tournament and met the seventh seeded Youngstown State Penguins in the Horizon League quarterfinals and had to survive a near upset by YSU. But the Titans scored the golden goal in overtime to move into the semifinals. Detroit then cruised to a 3-0 win over the Phoenix to set up a showdown with Milwaukee in the league championship a team that beat them just two weeks earlier in overtime by a score of 2-1. This time it was the Titans on the attack scoring first off a header from Allison Eppel and blanking the potent Milwaukee offense in a 1-0 championship victory. The win sent the squad to the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history and set up a first round matchup with in-state powerhouse Michigan. In the opening round of the NCAA tournament against the Wolverines, Eppel opened the scoring with a penalty kick early in the first half before a diving stop by senior Titan goalkeeper Allison Dubay on a Michigan penalty kick just moments later that revealed Detroit Mercy was in town for business. Junior Kathy Benjavich scored twice, the first on a cross from senior Mandy Jasky and the second after securing a loose ball on a shot from senior Judith Atwood to send the Titans into the break with a commanding 3-0 lead over the Wolverines and Detroit Mercy would seal the deal with some great defense late to take down the maize and blue by a score of 3-2. The tournament win remains Detroit Mercy's only victory in the NCAA tournament outside of men's basketball, while the 14 wins on the year is the second most in program history. 
The 2004 women's soccer team was led by some of the most distinguished names in program history. Hall of Famer Mary Parker led the team as a sophomore with 37 points on 16 goals and 5 assists, while Mandy Jasky added a team high 11 assists. Allison Dubé recorded 142 saves, the highest single season total in program history. But to set the bar for the program, it took a complete team effort. And according to head coach Mike Lupinek, what made the team special was their work ethic on and off the field from everyone on the roster. The attitude was second to none and the glory belongs to the Titans. Congratulations, 2004 Titans, on your induction into the Titan Hall of Fame.